words are as ferocious as the dunks or bang outs Richard and Channing throw down from time to time, and their softness can't even be matched. Homage has been turning back the clock with throwback tees for years, from the NBA to the Ultimate Warrior, you know, the tee LeBron wore on the plane after leading the Cavs, to its first title the city had seen in over 50 years. Well, Homage tells the stories of triumph, individualism, and hustle, preserving the old school and creating new legacies. Go to homage.com, that's H-O-M-A-G-E, and pay homage with your favorite tee. Be sure to check out the NBA GM tees and one exclusively made for me and you. We're road tripping at homage.com. Cheers. We are cheers. To another edition of Road Tripping with RJ and Channing. I'm your host, Allie Clifton, and with us now is Larry Sanders. Do you have a nickname? Eugene Sanders. Um, As a child, my family called me Man Man. Man, so man. I was man man in my family. Man okay. man, you know that that was like the little rough one that like got in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> got in trouble. I have a lot of cousins that are female. Yeah, so I was like the boy that just always out. running around. Yeah, kind of stuck out a little bit. Uh, hey, do you have any brothers or sisters? I do have two sisters. Oh man. Yeah. There is nothing wrong with that. And I'm the baby okay. boy. Oh, baby yeah. boy. Nothing yeah. wrong yeah. right here. here I got go. two older brothers, baby boy. Oh, yeah. Allie has some issues being the middle child, but we can oh, She reads books well, backwards. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I in read the corner. Them, I read them upside down. <laughs> yeah. Now. Um, and I have no issues being a middle child. Mm. I'm a peacemaker. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that. Hey, you know what? There's a lot of good qualities about being a middle child. I've heard. That You've like heard. Little, <laughs> <laughs> did you? Consistency. <laughs> <laughs> Larry, would you be able to guess who um, one of your teammates? They're a middle child. Which one would you guess? Which, which if you had to guess, which one? My teammates, the middle child. Um, who would you guess? I'll give you a hint. Okay. He's right, in it, the starting five. Yeah. He's in the starting five. Okay. And I believe he's the only one in the starting five. Like the real starting five? Yeah, yeah, or like yeah, what we the, got yeah, now? The, the real starting five. Oh, not the you. real you're starting not, five. You're not included. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Channing. <laughs> I'm messing Channing, up my six-man. Oh, I'm sorry. You're not a, oh, <laughs> you're not a <laughs> real starting five. Yeah. Duh. Um, they don't pay me that much. I'm going to go with, wow, I don't know. Um, so we'll just go down the line. Kyrie. Yeah. I don't think Kyrie. Okay. JR? Maybe JR. He's the one. I'm, I'm not sure. Braun? No, he only child. Tristan? And Kevin. Kevin. And Kevin. Not Kevin. No! Oh, you're it's wrong. Kevin. Am I wrong? It's yeah, Kevin? Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Damn it, Kevin. Yeah. I counted yeah. you out. Yeah. You know what? This is good. We're learning. We're like building. We're building our relationships here. You're learning new yeah. stuff about your teammates. Right. It's awesome. Yeah. Right. But I'm going to be honest. There's a lot of stuff that you don't want to know about us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, Larry. Here we go. Okay. Channing's questions here. Oh, shit. <laughs> what high, uh, how tall were you in high school? In high school. Okay. Were you always tall is really what I'm asking. Wow, coming from a freak <laughs> tall. Guy. I was a freak show, so I'm, I'm talking to a fellow freak show, being that I'm taller than him. So, I was always like top two. Oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, it was yeah. me and some other so, guy yeah. always competing for it. Right. How, well, how tall were you in high school? Um, going into 10th grade, I was 6'6". Six, six. Oh, okay. Wow. Yeah. And then did you like then, grow four inches, or were you like two every year? Almost, yeah, two. It was one summer. I think it was the summer going uh, from – well, the year, ninth grade and then 11th grade, I was 6'2", and I was 6'8". Oh, damn. So it was like, yeah, it was like Your knees six inches in like two years. Up. Richard. Man, right terrible. No, no. Oh, God. Did well, you, you get away from me. Did you ever <laughs> have Ajgut <laughs> Slaughters? I did. Oh, did you? look I, at I didn't have enough muscles to get I that. I have it yeah. as well. It, oh, was oh, yeah, it was always called jumpers. It was always called jumpers knee, which no, I didn't understand because I, I felt like I jumped a little bit and I never got it. Richard. That's tendonitis, big guy. That's what? what you have right now, what you're resting with. Yeah. Uh, no, no, no. I rested. My bad. <laughs> rested. <laughs> bad. Not resting. No. All right. So, uh, okay. I know what school you went to, but what college did you go to? Uh, Virginia Commonwealth. So, how many other schools? What other Ooh, schools VCU. were you? Yeah. Charles Oakley. Um, no. No. He went to Arkansas, I thought. Maybe maybe another Virginia school. Commonwealth. Um we uh, who's like the man Eric, at com- VCU outside of you, Eric Maynard. Eric, Eric Maynard, yeah, oh, I remember man. he was in Eric Portland, Maynard. right? Yeah, yeah. He started with well, he started with the Jazz, then went to OKC, um, and then he had a knee injury. Yeah, but he was he was the backup behind Russ, and he had some good years there. Oh yeah, good years. He did that yeah. playoff tough. years. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's tough, man. Those knee injuries man, can be. They are. Yeah. Especially when you're like in that in that state of your career where you're like you're early on, right? Right. Yeah. You haven't really established yourself. So let's get to let's get to know you, right? <laughs> what are you into? I know you're into music. Okay. I know you. We check out the Instagram. What's your Instagram? 
uh, the real Larry Sanders okay. underscore the real underscore Larry. Right, you're is real. There, like, is there a the fake Larry Sanders? I was gonna say. There's a lot of Larry Sanders. <laughs> right, hey, I'm no. the real C Fry, dog. Right, you know, uh, people you, try to. There's a lot of C Fries out there. Wait, you think people are trying to be Channing Fry? No, no, no. There's a lot of people named Channing. Oh, really? That's an yeah. awesome. God. It's a great name. It is a great name. A source of power. Do you know that Channing name has a high suicide rate? If Channing Tatum was on this floor, <laughs> Ali, that that's a mission I would have accomplished. You would have accomplished that. Turn, oh God, oh geez. Lord, turn it down. All right, so I the... met Channing Tatum by the way. He oh, made yeah? me pull out my ID because he thought I was like trying to talk to him. And I, we was at a Halo party, and it was an open remote. So I grabbed the remote and I'm playing. I'm like, "Hey man, what's up?" He said, "Hey man, how you doing?" I'm like, "Good." And I'm playing the game. He's like, hey, what's your name? I was like, Channing. He goes, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> and I go, no. Like, my name is Channing. He goes, no, my name is Channing. And I'm like, okay. We're probably both. And I didn't even know who he was at the time. And I was like, okay, cool. And he's like, hey, man, show me your ID. You got to be shitting me. I was like, no. He said, I've never met another Channing. And I'm like, fuck, you're going to make me get my Velcro wallet out? <laughs> yeah, oh I want to be honest. When we, were, when, we were, when we were younger in our single days, and uh, we'd be in L.A. or, or San Diego, um, and people would be like, what are you doing? I was like, oh, I'm just hanging out with Channing. And they were like, Channing Tatum. Channing Tatum. Or I was like, hey, uh, we're going out. Do you, you know, do, uh, do you want to bring a friend? Uh, well, yeah, what's your friend? Like, ah, oh, it's my friend Channing, you know, blah, blah, blah. And it, uh, you understand, Channing Tatum? It's like, no, I don't hang out with Channing Tatum. And no. if I did tell that lie, they would be greatly disappointed when they met <laughs> Channing Fry. But but they ended up loving then me. Then they, though. yeah, because I'm freaking... <laughs> Shanning. Okay, so the real Larry Sanders. Yes. All right. So Instagram. what are you into? You're in the fashion. You're in the photography. You're in the cool glasses. He's an artist. <laughs> you're artsy fartsy. You're very LA. <laughs> God, I like I like to create. Like I to see create. myself as creative. Like if I can create like once, twice a day, just something, I feel fulfilled. You know, yeah. like give me an example. You can't just say yeah. What did you, you create, create today? Well, I started I started with drawing. I would draw a lot when I was a kid. Today. Um, I work, I, I produce, so oh. I make beats all the time yeah. on my computer. So, um, worst case scenario, I'll go in there and start editing some beats, send some stuff off. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, so can you freestyle? I, uh, like I said, I like to produce. <laughs> 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 okay, okay. Yeah. No sway, sway in the morning be right now. Yeah. Right. Oh, no, no, no. Wow. no, that, no that, that. that almost made me nervous. I could yeah. drop Why? a freestyle. I could drop a freestyle. Yeah. You could right now? Somebody drop a beat. No, no, no. I need somebody to <laughs> that, that ain't us, man. We'll start. Yeah, yeah no, nah, no, beatboxing. No, no. Nah, we're. Channing, we're, I feel we're, like you could drop a beat right yeah, now. Yeah, Channing would more start humming. <laughs> humming uh, he'd start humming Adele or uh, something. Uh, try. First yeah. of all, Adele. Shout out to my girl. I see he was banging, by the yeah. way. Uh, what else? I mean, Larry, how do you uh, how do you like Cleveland? I like it. I like it. It's like a, um, you know, has that Midwest feel. Right. It reminds me of Milwaukee a little bit. Right, right. But yeah. um, I've played them both. Yeah. Right. You like the, the food. I do. Right? A lot. I saw that tweet. A lot. Yeah. yeah. Like, I immediately, like, found great spots. And I'm I'm big on food, so. Yeah. What's your favorite kind of food? Um... I would have to say seafood and then soul food and Italian. Is there soul food in Cleveland? There uh, is. There is? Yes. yes. Where? Some nice spots. Like There's some spots right downtown. Um, I went to a uh, spot. Oh, wait. It's right um, right by Barrio, right across from the queue. Yes. Did you hit really that close. one? Yeah, I did. Yeah. And is then, Barrio right any good? It's right there 668. Is that the taco spot? Mm-hmm. Yeah, the, yeah, the, the, the manager right. uh, hit me up on Snap. Megan, what's up, girl? I heard <laughs> you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, so food's great. Do you like sushi? I do like sushi a lot. Dude, you got to go to Ginkgo. Have you been to Dante's? No, I haven't. Dante's. Oh, yeah, my yeah. God. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dante's and Ginkgo, and then there's like this uh, like kind of low-key, like like low key, like kind of dive bar downstairs. Okay. Awesome spot. Just chill. They had a band there, Vanilla Thunder, last night. What toy? Vanilla Thunder? <laughs> oh, Richard. They kill. They play oh, all geez. 90s R&B and hip-hop, and there are four husky white guys. <laughs> Oh, and it, I was dying. It did was me. The, it was me, the ball and chain, and Brino. <laughs> the oh, ball man. and chain. Oh, Brino's in town. How's no, Brino? he was. He was shooting for Dropshoot Productions. Another. Uh, how's, another Brino? how's Brian doing? Dude, he's good, man. He's hilarious. He's yeah, Brian. My guy, great. Brian Baldwin. Shouts out. Yeah, he's Wolf, gonna freak Wolf out Trout no. Cobra. Oh my yeah. god! Yeah, so he was his, the best Halo the, player the, I have ever put. He murdered you. He did not fucking murder me. Don't don't ask him. Like there was a moment there where I might have retired my sticks. And I only came out for like <laughs> exhibitions, but he did not murder me. Larry, but, do you play video games? 
I do. You do. What's, What's your, your games? There's a Ghost Recon. Uh, oh, oh yeah. you, yeah. Swish. I hate yeah. realistic games. I'm a Destiny guy. Shout yeah, out Destiny to Destiny. Is trash. <laughs> Send me that Destiny <laughs> 2. Destiny's fun for like 15 minutes. But no, so his no, boy Brino had one of the best. He had one of the best gamer tags. Uh, it was Wolf Trout Cobra. And I was like, <laughs> that was his name. And I was like, dude, why, where, like, where'd you come up with that name? He was like, I don't know, just... All three of them together sounded awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Wolf, Trout, Cobra. Oh, like, yeah. Man, it was a bad. Yeah. Dude, he was so nice to us at Halo. He to would who? play hours on Halo. To like who? me and our but Portland you were boys. Trash. I was super trash. You were super trash. So, yes. I, I was there more it. for the conversation. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys, that you're, was your day. Uh, I died 17 times. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but if you were to get on World of Warcraft. Oh, Murder Sash, dog. Murder Sash. Oh, geez. Get him. I'm uh, still him. waiting for Owen Wilson to walk in that door. He's not walking uh, in that door. <laughs> so, Larry, how has it been? I'm stop you right there. How has it been since you've been back? It's been good. In the game. It's yeah. been good. Yeah, it's been great. No, no, no. We don't want to hear that. Okay. That's bullshit. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> be, be realistic. Boy. Like okay. Harder when than you, you thought. Were, yeah, harder than you thought. When you were all, those years off, what happened where you were like, you know what? I still have this passion for it. I still want to do it. And then to work your way back. And then go figure something from the Cavs is like, hey, uh, a lot of things had to happen for you to be here. Right. Right? Mm -hmm. So explain that process. In your heart of hearts, to okay. start with this, in your heart of hearts, when you left. He has one heart. In oh your heart of hearts, God. when you left, <laughs> did you think at all that you would return? Um, I had my moments. Yeah. I had my moments. Mm -hmm. I wasn't. I wasn't set on leaving forever. I just felt at that time. At that time, yeah, at that time, I just needed that space, and it was, I was so day by day at that time, and I was like deep in meditation and just practicing certain things that, like, the answer was just right in front of me. You know, it was just, it was just I had to make some choices. Mm -hmm. But um, you know, I, I'm in love with like putting my mind to something and and like seeing it being fulfilled. I really, I really love that in, in anything, in anything, and. um yeah, I, like I said, when I say it's been great and, and it's been good, it's because I've, I've really, really been enjoying it, though. Mm -hmm. I've been, like, the everything about it is, is awesome, man. You know, it's a great opportunity. Yeah. Well, that's I, like the, the ESPN answer. No, 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 <laughs> no. Like, no, but this is really no, the truth. Okay, well, that's the truth, then. We're good, then. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll say too. this. I'll Keep say this. 100. Keep when it we, a bean out here, boy. When we uh, – <laughs> so I played with Bogan in Milwaukee, um, uh, played with him in Golden State, and so when he when he obviously got injured, uh, uh, he was like uh, he sent me a text because we we would text not, even when we weren't teammates. Uh, we would text, and he sent me a text. He's like, "Hey, take care of Larry. Uh, that was my rook. That's my guy. All that bullshit that's being said about him mm -hmm. isn't true." And so you know immediately you know for me a, as a guy that respects Andrew and the fact that he was immediately looking out for you and and, and vouching for you uh, says something and so you know th that's what this is about man like you can tell your story like the ESPN story we don't give a shit about that story we don't no, no, give no. a damn about what people want to write or the questions that people want to ask um, you know you look at it even like Michael Jordan. He had his father pass away. There was some gambling stuff. And he was like, I'm going to go play baseball for two, two years. years. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go play baseball for two years. He just needed that mental break. He just needed that that I need to get away. And, and I think you see a lot of players that, for whatever reason, it doesn't have to be the greatness of Michael Jordan. It could be whatever. But sometimes you just look at everything that's in front of you and you're like, I need a moment, mm -hmm. you know. So, um, you know, I, I respect the fact that, you know, you made a decision uh, to come back, and, and you've been working your ass off, man. I, you've I, been working. Yeah. That's got to be fun. That's got to be fun to just yeah. all of a sudden be back in the gym. It's like, oh, shit, I got to run. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yo, yeah. Man. But, you know, it's that mentality. Like, I've, I've been um, out in L.A. working with these artists mm -hmm. for two years and I'm playing, like, no basketball, really. Yeah. You know, and, like, now to be – Competing again, and like it's just fun, man. It's fun. It's not like you're competing though. Like literally, every single game is a huge game. Yeah, you yeah. know. So that it's not like you're like going to a team that's going for the lottery. It's like we don't right. care what you do. It's like, hey, Larry, like you getting some minutes now. You gotta like <laughs> get your ass in shape because we might yeah. need you like yeah. in a serious fucking moment. Right, right. You know. Case in point, but Tristan you know, hasn't right. missed a game in over five years, and now here he is down. Right. And the first thing people think of is, oh, Larry. Right. We had, to wait, we had to wait for you. 
Yeah, hey, you know. Is that I'm, why I'm just, we got held up? Yeah. <laughs> you know, it, you know. I just say, you know, you, you you stay ready so you don't have to get ready. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Ooh, speak. And that's just it right there. And it's just my job. I don't I don't worry about anything else except for my my side of the street. And that's making sure my ass is ready. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, and focusing on things I need to focus on, learning the plays. That's my shit. That's Do you know what, what your play is? Screen and take and your roll long to the basket. roll to the basket <laughs> and, and you, you go trail up. And you go trail up from the fucking one hundred percent. No, I'm not even gonna move. <laughs> I'm gonna stay right in the corner, and they gotta <laughs> make a decision. Okay. Yeah. Either you gonna get a dunk, or I'm gonna get a three, or LeBron's right. gonna get a dunk. That's right. just how it works. Yeah, and, yeah man. I'm were excited. you uh, when you first found out? Were you kind of surprised when the Cavs called? Because I know you had worked out. Right. I know you you had kind of said you had had some interest, and then all of a sudden, like I said, Bogut Bogut hurts his leg. And in 58 seconds. Shout out to Bogey's dog. Yeah. <laughs> He's the coolest team I've had for like yeah, half a day. No, and I, and I know Bo. I know Bo, yes. like I said. Yeah, yeah. He's we a got great drafted dude, together. Yeah. It, it sucks, man. Yeah. Um, you yeah. know, and but like I said, just the, the class act that the Cavs fans might not have gotten to see about Bogut. They've only seen him from the Warrior side. The minute we signed Larry, he was the first person to text me. Yeah. You know. Uh, He's awesome. But, we were going to be best friends. No, you weren't. Uh, <laughs> How does um, – Larry, I think I read something where um, basketball is like art to you. Yeah. Is that how, is that, how that went? How is – Well, yeah. How yeah. do you visualize it that way? Well, I would say like my game is – it's kind of angles and timing, mm-hmm. and um, I just kind of I, I like I'm, I want to meet. I'm, I try to meet the ball at different angles. You know, what I mean, on the backboard, above the mm-hmm. rim. Um, sometimes if they try to dunk it, if it's still in their hand, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So um, I don't know the symmetry of it, just the, the timing. And um, you are deep. Well, you know, I'm, I've been I, like, I, please, I help. Lord, don't get, get dunked. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what my motivation is. Do not get dunked on so that you don't get roasted when you go back to the way to the right, locker room. Right. But you know what though? The thing is being a shot blocker, you're gonna get dunked on. Yeah. You know, oh, yeah, you're gonna get dunked well, on. that I am not a shot blocker. No, you are not a shot blocker. <laughs> See, you don't I, yeah, I, I have a block a game, it's, it's pretty okay. good. I'm I might get dunked on one time in ten games, but I'm gonna block a lot of shots. A lot of shots. And I'm gonna contest you know, a, a stat that I led the league in when I was in the league uh, before was contesting shots. Like I led the league in contesting shots. Yeah. So um, you know, you got to contest, and I'm gonna, yes. you know, I'm gonna alter it or contest, or I'm gonna block it, or yeah. you gonna dunk on me. Did yeah. you? <laughs> Some options here. Did you wear your goggles the other day? No, I didn't. Why? Yeah. Um. So I, I wasn't. Um. I don't have to wear them. I just oh, okay. I've worn them, and I just wanted to see how I feel. I felt I played a couple games in the D League without them. Yeah. So I felt comfortable. Uh, uh So why did you start wearing your goggles? Because I got um. I blew out my orbital. A what? Yes, I was like, I got elbowed. Um, it was like, really, really, it was like 50 seconds in the game. Oh. We was playing the, uh, the Rockets. James oh. Harden is going for a rebound. He's coming down. I go and up. bust your eye elbow. right open, yeah. boy. Yeah, yeah. Nice commentary, James. <laughs> right. Great <laughs> 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 right, um, My man, my man. <laughs> the dog died. Wait, is did it eye. feel as, as, as bad that? as it sounds? No, it feels terrible. Dude, the eye is the groin of the face, dog. I'd rather get. I honestly, I'd rather get hit in the That's groin. I'd rather get hit in the groin than get bopped in your eye. Okay, I'm gonna tell eyes you guys. So eyes. story on story, I got poked by Chauncey Billups in the eye and screamed like a girl. I was like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Yo, and audience. everybody was dying, crying, <laughs> laughing, and I said, "You get scratched in the eye." Yo, duh. I did the same thing. So we were playing against the Lakers, oh, and so man. Lamar Odom did the same thing, where he came down and busted my eye open. He busted his eye and, right and open. I, and as soon as I I go down, so this is when Luke Walton was still on the Lakers, Brian Cook. Maybe Kareem Rush and Jordan Farmar. So these are all my boys on the sideline. These are the guys. These are my brothers. I hang out with them every day. So I'm always cracking jokes with them during the game. So Lamar busts my eye open. I'm on the side, right? And, <laughs> and like, you have that moment where you want to say something because they're cracking jokes from the sideline because I'm right in front of their bed. Oh, get your ass up. You ain't hurt. Quit acting like a little. Da-da-da. 
and I seriously, like half a second, I was going to be like, guys, it's not funny. (laughs) I swear, I swear on my life, those words almost came out of my mouth because I was so hot. And then it's like, I think at the same time, I pulled my hand down and I saw all the blood. And then that's when they kind of stopped. But it was like, I was down holding my eye and I had the biggest headache in two seconds. And in my head, when they're laughing at you, like you're in the gym. Like you're no, just it's like you're around. a little kid out in the street. And yeah, you get, but it's yeah. like, but it's your, these are literally my brothers. These are my guys. guys and it's like, I was like, funny. guys, it's not funny. <laughs> like that's what I wanted to yell at them. Yeah. Dude, and then the, as soon the as they eye, saw all the blood, they stopped. You. As a man, get hit in the eye. No, the like, it, doesn't, no. it doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman. Oh. I took my contact out and I scratched my cornea. And yeah. I was out of commission okay. for like three weeks. I thought I was okay. dying. Yeah, the wind you, knocked out. You take a chunk out of your cornea and it's serious. It's like what Braun went through in Charlotte. because your hands are too big? <laughs> As Larry looks at my hands. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Let's do it. First of all, wait, wait, Larry should wait, wait. not look at anybody's hands. Larry, let's do my a hand test with Allie. Let's do a hand test with Allie. Oh, my God. Larry, your hands oh, are you disgusting. Oh, so hands. Big. Damn. Larry's hands are grossly big. God, man. Why, big why, are you, why is it got to be grossly, yeah, though? Chan- Chan- it's well, I'm trying to say that. What do you want me to say? His yeah. adjectives are just. Yeah, he always takes it to another place. Your hands are big. Allie's got bigger hands than you, Channing. Almost. Jeez. I got yeah. shooter's hands. They're very shooter. soft. So, um, Larry, how close do you think you are to feeling like yourself? Um, I'm just taking it day by day. And yeah. I feel like, you know, um, I feel like myself getting better. I just yeah. feel myself working hard and getting better. And like I said, just got to just gotta do that. It's kind of loud. Can you turn me down a little bit? Yeah. <laughs> He's like, turn me down. I don't like hearing my down. voice that much. <laughs> yeah. 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 Turn me down in the headphones. He's the producer. Yeah. I, have no snare. I have no snare in my headphones. Sorry. Yeah, he's yeah. producing. So okay, so not to change the subject, but that's what but I. But you're that's about to. Yeah, I'm about to. Channing goes pretty much music everywhere. right now. Mm-hmm. Who do you listen to? That's like, damn, this guy like inspires me. Um, well, I'm excited about Kendrick. Oh, I'm really excited about him right now. <laughs> yeah. Um, Big Sean didn't let me down. Um. So what's LA, up with their beef? Those are your L.A. boys. What's up with their uh, yeah. well, Big Sean's Detroit. Detroit. But he's Detroit, but he's in yeah. L.A. Yeah. He, he Everybody's is, in L.A. But, but I'm saying he's turned Hollywood. Very dating actresses. Dating, you know, he, he's I think gone, he dates he, that he, one no, girl but I, who is absolutely I'm not saying that he's in L.A., uh-huh. but Ooh, if you look at him, good. and I'm not saying he's like claiming <laughs> California or claiming Ooh. L.A., but his swag is very he's, much associated yeah. with L.A. He's not, he's not Eminem. He's not no, he's Royce not Kid Five Nine. No. He's not Kid – he's not – he says the D yeah. every now and then, but he's not there. He's right. like, yeah, I'm right. in the yeah. D, like downtown L.A. <laughs> downtown L.A., damn right. <laughs> oh, uh, is that where you have a uh, Soho – Yoga yeah, located? yeah. We, are you are you into yoga? You ever do yoga? Yeah, I have, I have, I haven't done it in like a couple of years. Oh, okay. Back when I was playing, I would do it every summer. Yeah. yeah. No, that, that's. I that's, feel like it would fit your personality in terms of like being free like and it. artistic and creative and. Yeah, yeah. I like yeah. that. I like yeah, that. man. Well, if you're ever out, where, where do you live during the summer? I'm uh, currently looking for a place in Vegas, so okay. hopefully that'll be. Oh, good. tax breaks! I'll let you, boy. <laughs> Arizona too. Arizona too. Don't, don't, do that, don't, do don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. I love Arizona, no, no, so guys. I love Arizona. <laughs> 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 Glad I said that. I, I, it's no, hot. Arizona and Vegas are amazing, mm-hmm. but the problem is, is that it's so fucking hot. It's hotter there than Vegas. It's the exact same. It's the oh. exact same. But there's more actual going on in Vegas than in right, Phoenix yes. because ASU is out of school and stuff. That was the only reason why I moved to San Diego. I moved to San Diego and then moved up to LA a couple years ago. But it's just so fucking hot, dude. <laughs> you can't fucking do it. You can't do it. Is the is the goal? That's San Diego's just, amazing. Yeah, isn't that's it? the goal. Like, you do you know, know you're in the NBA, right? right? You can go <laughs> where you want to go. I, yeah, I understand that. You can go where you want. to uh, Richard I, has I, to I'm remind like a real me. Estate guy. I want to. I'm looking at like where in. Uh, w- did you stay in San Diego? Did you have some time I out did. there? Where I spent at a, um, Del Mar? Oh, yeah, man. I was in Rancho Santa Fe. Ooh, yeah. Oh Del man, so Del Mar is the shit. Oh man, God, I used to have some good times in Del Mar. What was it? Where were the bars there? Oh God! Oh, sure. uh, what was Not, it? What was it? What Mexican joint with the bar next door? Uh, oh, can we really talk about this? Wow. Yes, we talked about it the other day. Did you guys play beer pong? <laughs> I did in college. Uh, yeah. Okay. Did you play the normal beer pong, or did you both. have like both? What's both? Well, we played Tucson rolls, which one of it like Tucson local rolls, like sushi rolls. Tucson ro- rules? <laughs> rules. Oh, rules. Rules. Oh, rules. I think said rules. Oh, my bad. Hey, <laughs> Rafa, fix that girl's <laughs> headphones, man. Anyways, no, no, we play one with the paddles. Shout out to Matt Brazzi. Head Is coach that the, of the four? Vipers. There's two. Yeah, four two. corners. Yep. Oh, then, so duh, you guys went to the same school. 
We did. But ours ours was a bit different than what they played. There's a beer pong where you play with the hands. Right. Normal. There's a beer pong. There's a normal. There's a beer. You play nine cups. Well, no, six but see, cups. no, but see, this is the other part. Ten right. cups. There, six there was cups. a difference between beer pong and Beirut. Like people just kind of fused them into the same thing. Yeah. So I've never heard of this that you I've guys never play. heard of Beirut. No. Okay. Well, that's actually a Lebanese restaurant in Toledo, and it's amazing. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> well, the beer Larry, pong. Have you? No, Beirut. I, yeah. I, I feel like I've heard of it. Beirut. I, yeah, Beirut was the original like term for beer pong, and okay. then it just turned into beer pong. Okay. So the other beer pong is like Channing says, where you hit the paddle right. in, into where you – but you would have like a beer glass, so you could try and hit it into the mug, right? right? Yeah. So we would play with the cans because all um, of our friends – so remember uh, uh, when Josh Kroenke was on here, all of you avid listeners uh, will remember Josh Kroenke talking about when Ricky Barnes and Luke and Jasmine and all them would play ping pong. Like yeah. We would have full-on battles of ping pong. Guys would be – sweating getting after it so what we did is we basically turned a beer pong game where you would try and hit the can and when you have a bunch of guys that are really good at, at, at table tennis it just turns into a shit show a very fun drunk shit show shout out to Coors Light Only dr- oh Nat- Ooh, we played with Natty Light Natty uh, Light so Natty. did I <laughs> hey, listen hey, look, you can get you some Natty Light for nine dollars little Pabst Blue 30, Ribbon ooh, 30 pack you're so hipster so uh, that was the beer pong you played I played the paddle beer pong Paddle the paddle beer. Did you play flip cup? Oh, I'm a monster at flip cup. Monster. Oh god. Yeah. For, there uh, is not a how for a you two seven game. foot crazies. How would you guys? Would people always yell at you because your arm? A hundred percent. Yeah, they say we had to stand back. No elbow. No, 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 no. Elbow roll. Elbow. Hey. I said, oh, I'll so you're gonna good raise good. the raise the rim for Yao Ming? Nope. <laughs> 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 Bloop. Uh, hey, I've gotten perfect. Me and Isaiah Fox. Shout out to Isaiah Fox. He's I think he's the assistant coach for the L.A. Defenders. Yeah, D-League team. D-League team. Shout out to my boy. Me and him, the only time I've ever got all of them in a row was that we were at a pool party at uh, in Tucson, and we – all ten of them. Yeah, so the white, party, the white party that we used to throw in San Diego, Crushed. that's what we would do for the party. So our friends would set up – like they had like a styrofoam floating like beer pong. We would set up another beer pong table just for, for like actual beer pong, like on the table tennis. Then we would have another, another table for like the ping pong that we were playing. So they were literally like – it was like a, a drinking, ice luge. It, yeah, ice luge. Like you, it was like a drinking Olympics going on. Like it was, you, it was. Are you guys talking about college right now? No, I'm talking about my, my <laughs> fifth year in the NBA. Oh, oh. <laughs> uh, so, no, so me and my, saying, oh, yeah, me and my boys. We're talking a, about like no, uh, yeah, yesterday. Yeah, we bought a house, and so we would throw a white party. We would throw a white party, and a lot of people would come, and we'd do all of these like random events. But uh, that was just kind of the – that was just kind of – it was more of like that was the end of the summer party, get all of our friends together. Uh, but, yeah, no, there's a – there's some uh, – anybody that wants to challenge me at my version of beer pong, I'm down. After it, the season. Well, obviously, after the season's <laughs> over. Like, remember when we showed also, up at the deli everyone, and we were playing? Oh, yeah. Speaking of flip cup, can I get back to this real quick? Sure. I apologize. I've just, I know I, I'm, I'm talking too much. At Shellbacks during Six Man, flip cup is the shit. I think I've shown you videos of everyone partying in the middle of the day at uh, Shellback. That's the bar in uh, Manhattan Beach. Shout out. I leave my, typically leave my credit card there every day. <laughs> every time I go there, they leave it there and I tell them just to keep the tab open. Uh, but Six Man is a big volleyball tournament and it's in the middle of the day. Uh, it goes on. It's the most awesome event on the freaking planet. And I do play a lot of Flip Cup and I am a first flip monster. At 36 years old? Yes. Can you really hang? Uh, oh, yes, yes. Oh Channing, Channing. No, I'm agreeing with you. I was yeah. almost disrespected. <laughs> well, I just feel like I have I'm the most disres- experience. I think no. that's an honest question. Yeah. No, it's 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 not Richard's about- not a day uh, day drinking. Guy. No, no, he's not. Richard's a give me four hour window and I'm gonna go. Ham. I'm gonna have a great time <laughs> and I'm gonna go to sleep. Yeah. That's have you it. guys have you guys gone out as a team yet? No, that was part of our problem. Yeah, uh, everybody, right, everybody that knows us, we were we were struggling. And the minute we mentioned us going out as a as a team, because we are big on team bonding, that's when our team started to turn things around. <laughs> yeah. So yes, we are we are planning a team get together just because we need to get to Kevin's house, uh, make his chef cook food for us, drink uh, all of his wine, best his cheese plate Richard. in. Yeah, Larry, Cleveland. what do you think of this team? Um, I mean, I'm learning. <laughs> 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 I'm learning, man. You know. They've obviously, you know, been on this road before. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, and they know what it takes. So So in your position, do you just roll with it? Of course. Yeah. You know, and I'm 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 enjoying it because, you know. Who's your seatmate? Who you sit back there with? 
I sit next, next to Liggs. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, Liggs. With the DVD player. <laughs> Yo, Liggins has a Liggins. DVD player, y'all. And I'm he not, whipped I, it out yet. I yeah, I, it. No, I'm not what? talking about like an iPad. Oh. I'm not talking about like a laptop. No. He's got a DVD player and he carries around a sleeve, sleeves of DVDs. I guess I'm not, I'm not kidding you. I'm just not kidding you. And he, What's wrong with that? I think it still might use batteries. <laughs> no, yeah. What's That's wrong true. with him Ask doing him that? Ask him for his extension cord. Uh, yes. I, we also well, had a conversation with my friend the other day about beepers. Oh, oh, I had a beeper. My dad wouldn't let me. Did you guys have the what's the two the pager, two way pager? No, not side pager. Kick. Sidekick. No, yeah. oh, oh, I, I was not a sidekick. Side I was in college. I had to in college. Yeah, yeah. I was not a sidekick. The sidekick. Our hey, our you know, were, were you a BlackBerry? Yeah, I know. I, no. You know. I don't know what I was. I had the motor. I had the two way because I was living in New York. Oh, okay. So I first got the the two way, oh, and then it kind of went away from that, and I just tried to get other things. But yeah, then the iPhone came out. How many yeah. phones oh, yeah. do you guys carry? One. 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 In college, I'm saying. I'm sorry. Because uh, college, at least when I was in college, oh six to ten, the big thing was two. That's, That's just two. stupid. Yeah. I had That's a BlackBerry and I had a sidekick. <laughs> Side, oh, I hate that sidekick. <laughs> Why'd you hate the sidekick? <laughs> right, does look, Allie, does Allie so have cool. a story she wants that to tell? That little split. Yeah, tell me. Right. Tell me. Uh, and they were so annoying. They were just like, tell us about the drama. Tell us about the drama. But this thing, though. The drama. Tell us about the drama. Tell us the drama, Allie. Offline. Come, no, <laughs> that's kidding. not what this. Tell us. I'm kidding. Did you, Nothing. Did, that just did a little Philly, Did a little Philly break your heart? What does that mean? That's from uh, Dumb and Dumber, but it's okay. I've seen that movie, too. Oh, jeez. So why don't you like sidekicks, Allie? I just didn't understand the point of a sidekick. So did it was a phone. It was aim? a phone and did a sidekick. Have aim is to messenger. I did not. <gasps> I got ICQ. What's ICQ? ICQ. <laughs> I had ICQ. What is ICQ? <laughs> it was the same thing, kind of. It was no, 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 it was no. This is what I didn't know about. I didn't ICQ right. is Nobody. an online chat. Oh, uh, no one had Absolutely. that. Absolutely, no one had. All that. of our Ohio listeners are going to be like, "Oh my god." Wait till you check our social handles. They'll be like, yeah, Ali had ICQ too. Might be a Midwest thing. Might be a Midwest there thing. There ain't nothing it's just, it's just it was it. It's not exactly like okay, you go so to the club, aim. hey, hit me So with that's aim. your sidekick was your aim? No, my sidekick was my phone. But then I like, know that, but I'm just saying that's where your aim was. No, aim was when like. It was like an app. Yeah, it was an app. Uh, so it was almost like, I'm not going to say like. It was instant messenger. It was like, you know, yeah. the Facebook messenger? It was like that. Oh, okay. So hey, just hit me on the aim real quick. So because iPhone. Is what it is now. Right. Yes. It eliminates the need for two phones. Yes. Well, there was a, there was a sidekick. So the two way pager, the two way pager, mm-hmm. and then you had like so you'd have the Motorola two way pager, then you'd have the matching Motorola phone, so that you could like beep somebody and you could send the information. So that's kind of just I how they did it. Thought pagers in New York. were very professional. Yeah. Like doctors. You My what, basically, what happened is texting got rid of all of that. That's yeah, all right. it was because that's all you're uh, doing. Was really no pay phones either. Yeah. What? Pay phones got eliminated. Yeah, pay, pay, pay phones. phones? Yeah, pay because phones. you have Allie's like, what's a pay phone? <laughs> you know, I know what a pay phone is, but you used it? Every, yeah. Everybody. Had do, you know know, do you want to know what the trick we used to do? So I'm our friends, eight. our friends, when we used to go, you used to go 1-800-COLLECT. So you'd call your mom and they would like uh, – uh, please, uh, this is one eight hundred collect. Right. Please tell us right. uh, who is calling. And my boy would be like, "Hey, Trav, this is mom. Come pick us up." <laughs> right, and then, right. hang, and, then it, and then, so that would be right. the the five second message that the person. So the person, yeah, yeah, it'd be like, "Hey, mom, pick us up." And right. so he was like, "No, she's gonna come. Right. Don't worry. She's she's gonna hear the message, and then it was gonna come." Right. Oh, so wow. Well, at what age did you get your first cell phone? Oh, eighteen. Yeah, I was old. I was I was I was like seventeen. 17. 17. 18. It's different now. Yeah. I didn't get a cell phone. Okay, and you're how old? 28. Oh, you and I are the same. How old are you? 33? 33. 33? 36? I didn't have a cell phone until I was a senior in high school. So, yeah, 18. Yes, yeah, same thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the you didn't internet, ha- my, my sister wanted a laptop for, like, so long, and she didn't get it until, like, she was in high school, but she wanted it. She was weird. She, she like, knew about – I was like, what's a laptop? Like, <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, because we had desktops. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. You know. Wait, you grew, grew up, up where? Like a typewriter. I grew up in Fort Pierce, Florida. You grew I up with a typewriter? Yeah, I wrote a lot of my papers with a typewriter. What? A yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Wait, how old are you, Larry? I'm 28. But I just didn't. We just kind of didn't have a lot. Of, did you guys have yeah. electricity? Did you guys have electricity? <laughs> yeah. Sometimes. Yeah, sometimes. Yeah. sometimes. Yeah. A lot of candles. Oh, man. And electricity. Yeah. When the- but growing up in the South, I kind of grew up like it's like really, you know, in the woods, woodsy. Yeah. Dirt roads. So how come you don't go back to Florida? I do. I go back. I no, how come there. you don't like live there during the summer? 
Um, I don't like the weather. The muggy <laughs> thing. Wait, 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 wait. You don't like the weather, but you want to live in Vegas? No, this but see, there's kind of humidity. Oh, that's that not humidity. Even close. Way different that kind humidity of heat. sucks. Oh, I hate yeah. Vegas. You get heat. swamp ass. Like, oh, I'll all take day. Vegas heat all day. Yeah. Oh, rather than Florida heat. Yeah. Oh, like, like, Channing? Florida heat. Oh, my God. Disgusting Florida heat. Oh, my God. I can imagine your swamp ass. Oh, oh, so disgusting. Sweated, yeah. uh, dude. If you take a shower during during the day, you're gonna start sweating immediately. Immediately, it's almost. Are disgusting. you a sweater, like Channing sweater? I, I don't. No, 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 no. no, 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 no. He's a <laughs> only <laughs> Kevin. Oh, me and Kev are neck and neck on sweaty. Channing has a bands. glandular problem. You sweat a lot. I saw on your when I start. Head the other day. When I start, <laughs> I can't stop. But oh, I, yeah. can, I can. I'm not. at a constant. Like I'm sweaty now. <laughs> <laughs> See, <laughs> I can. St- it's yeah. either freezing cold or like drenched in sweat. Welcome to Total Wine and More. It's much more than a wine store. It's the eighth wonder of the world. When people talk about Total Wine and More, they get a little carried away. We're just a big, friendly place run by people with a passion for wine, beer, and spirits. On your left is every Chardonnay ever made. Now, that's an exaggeration. It's only about 750 Chardonnays. See, we travel the world to find the best wines from the best regions, and we sell them at the lowest prices anywhere. 8,000 different wines. Okay, that one's true. 2,500 different beers. Uh, true. 3,000 spirits. True. And friendly, helpful experts at every turn. Okay, yeah, that's also true, but... And Total Wine & More always has unbeatable prices. You know what? Maybe we are the eighth wonder of the world. And here we have a man who's bragging. Sorry. No problem. Now open in Arboretum, Sunset Valley, and Lakeline. Shop online at TotalWine.com. Always the right bottle. Uh, so, uh, Lair, is there anything, because I know we, we bounce around a lot. Uh, is this but- what you thought the podcast was? Uh, with these two guys, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what, what is your take on these two guys? Um, they just keep. They, it seems like they just keep us going, man. They just uh, always, you know, vocal. You know, very funny. You know, got great personalities. Man. Oh, you're that's sweetheart. interesting that you say that. Did you so follow nice. these guys last year during the run or no? I did. Oh, okay. So you heard oh, all the stories because these guys did kind of become like the the goofballs. Glue. Yeah, yeah, man. You know, there, I, but I wouldn't say we're the glue. Mm. I would say we are, well, fuck no. No? No, What no. are you? We uh, are. I like their connection to actual society. Yeah. <laughs> That's the glow. Well, because me me, me, and I think me and Channing have the, I, I think at Channing and I, excuse me, uh, as a, as a Arizona crew, I think we have the least amount of uh, try and be cool. In yeah. Our oh, group. Th- yeah. Zero. <laughs> <laughs> like, really put it this way. Everyone put, embodies there. Right, yeah, exactly. But I'll say this. Wait, like for what? me, everyone embodies their roles. Oh, in, oh okay, okay, okay. But like for me, I'll be like, hey, Rich, let's just uh, w- let's go watch the game down there at like a bar, have a beer and a burger. No big deal. Right? So that's me on the bottom level saying, let's just go outside the house or outside the, excuse me, outside the hotel. Then there's like medium level where Kevin's like, let's go to a nice restaurant. We can maybe. Get a reservation. Yeah. Maybe we won't. Then there's top shelf with Ron's <laughs> like, no, no, no. Back room, privacy, security don't touch guards. Me. Don't touch me. Don't talk to me. <laughs> yeah. It's just me and my team. Well, Switch was talking about Switch was talking about going to a baseball game. And we was like, remember you were talking about he's like, damn, Switch, you want to go to a baseball game already? He's like, Yeah. And so they they Bron looked at me, he's like, Yeah, but I'm not I'm not fucking with Richard. And I was yeah. like, why? He was like, Cause you just you're all over the place. Like you're on the third base line. You're up in the beer place. Oh, you're up in the suite. I was like, bro, I'm a man of the people. I can't. I gotta feel the energy. I gotta be down there. I can't. I can't just be in the fishbowl. Everyone looking at me. I need to go down there because yeah, I have no problem. Like yeah, yeah. I'm not. We as a group aren't the bra and the Kyrie, the Kev. Like we don't get like just visually assaulted by people. So we can still kind of mix in the group and just have fun and be. Dog, you're on the third baseline for a playoff game <laughs> in like a that. World, yeah, you oh, yeah. know that that's like one of the most dangerous spots to be. By the oh way. yeah, because you got to pay attention. Oh, Do you see the of, that's that's funny, of, but, but we did that. We would tell people yeah. like, hey, you got to pay attention. I'm sorry. Yeah. Speaking of though, someone who said the other day that he doesn't do any manual labor. Yeah, I don't. Do you see these Sitting- hands? Oh, I guess it was. <laughs> what? <laughs> Never mind. It was yeah. preseason. Well, yeah, but I don't do manual labor. I'm thinking labor. to myself, yeah, you don't do manual labor, but you go put yourself in the direct line of a foul yeah, ball I, where I'm you pay- could but I'm have your att- eye. But I'm paying attention. Don't look at me like that. What but- I'm saying is he he gets upset if he doesn't have bath mats on the floor because he could 
step out of the shower oh, and slip oh, and fall, oh, yeah, yeah, and therefore sure. he couldn't be ready to play. So yeah, I don't, I don't, but bu- yet, I don't bullshit with manual labor. Someone said I forgot. Someone said, "Hey, dunking at forty is manual labor," and I was like, "That's why I don't think I'm going to be dunking at 40. <laughs> <laughs> How about somebody thought I was thirty-seven? Well, had they seen you jump? That don't mean nothing. I'm what do you mean? Spry. I just not bouncy. <laughs> you got a little bounce. You got a little, a little bounce. Bit, a little bit. The tip dunk. Hey, what did uh, yeah, right. so you think of the tip dunk? I thought it was. I thought it was good. I thought he he pulled that. He pulled that one off very well. <laughs> very I'm not gonna lie. I was like, was great. Wait, I got great my dunk. feet right. I'm the telling fun, you, it was, the it was it was humid as shit in there, and that's what got me going. It was cold. It, it was, was nice in Boston. I was nice. It was uh, nice. Yeah, but whenever you get a dunk, though, it becomes like a national event. <laughs> oh, it is. But you know what's funny? I hope you see this. The begin like middle of the season. <laughs> it was my goal to get the grossest dunks ever. Like I would literally unathletic a dunk it just reached for it and grabbed the <laughs> rim just to be like yeah i dunked it but i dunked it the most unathletic way possible dunking a three you unathletic that's all i no. want that's all i want I, game listen number one three. i could do a running windmill i could do a one two windmill. could you be in the dunk contest <laughs> hell no <laughs> first of all i'm not wasting that much time on my all-star break <laughs> to be in a dunk contest unless they pay in Mad money. There, then I'm out there doing there, all there type of stuff. There is no dunk contest that you will ever be allowed in. <laughs> Thank That's you. like Tristan being in a three-point contest. <laughs> <laughs> With a broken right thumb? Oh, my too God. Too soon? Too, Wait, is too it broken? Soon. No, it's no, not broken. No, no, I was going to say, that hasn't been released. It's not, it's not broken. <laughs> it's not broken. <laughs> it's not broken. <laughs> That's why it's funny. <laughs> yes. Oh, oh, man. Or is it? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> what a josh. Larry, anything else? Do you have any foundations? Do you have anything that you like want to endorse? talk about do you have anything literally. that you just need to get off your chest say like <laughs> oh, yeah. seriously no seriously um anything yeah man because if you're, this t- is if you're awesome. tired of people telling your fucking story you tell your story yourself man. yes that's yeah. what we're here for for you to tell your story of like whatever you want to say like well i'll say um i've been filming uh a lot and i filmed a lot of what i did in la and uh i'm gonna be releasing like like things episode okay that's awesome episode form you know, oh. pretty soon. And, Which on YouTube? Uh, I'm gonna do um, Netflix. I'm sure I'll, some kind of way. I'll tell you this: uh, when you, if you, are you gonna do a teaser, like a one minute short, like trailer? Just make sure you give it to us, and we can put it out and promote it for you if you want it. You know, it could still, we could still send them to your website, but right. if you're doing a promo or if you're doing like a one minute teaser, what's the name of your yeah. your episodes? What are your episodes consist of? Well, just I, are you I allowed started, to release that? Well, I started filming since I left. So when okay. I left, I, I did all kind of stuff like I um Anything I filmed. You oh, when you like, left I, for the example, NBA, yeah, when I left the NBA. Oh. So I, I moved out of California. Like uh, for example, like um, it was this all Korean uh, basketball league, and it was an undefeated team, and they played out in Vegas um, against their rivals, and I went and filmed it all like on segways. So it was right right, right when the segways first yeah. came yeah. out. Yeah, and we filmed it all on segways and whatnot, and they lost the game by like one point. Oh, wow. So it was crazy. So like it was like super emotional and whatnot. But we filmed that. We filmed the uh, the reaction. Um, that's just one example. Yeah. Yeah. And we filmed that whole week in Vegas. I had I brought artists up there with me, a fashion designer, screenwriter. and um, Oh, you're like legit. It was fun. I've been <laughs> having some fun. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I've been awesome. having some fun. So, um Oh, citizens, of, citizens of Matter is my company. That's what okay. it's called. Um, Com. And it's basically an artist development company. So it's work on branding, development. Um, I, w- I linked up with uh, Meta, with Ron Artes, okay. Meta World Peace, um, in uh, L.A. And, you know, so he was pulling some some uh, some strings for me and whatnot. Made it made it comfortable. And, and we did some great stuff. I, uh, I got a chance to produce on um, Party Next Door's uh, album. People oh. might not know that. Oh, wow. But yeah, his last album. Yeah, I produced the second. Wait, song. wait, wait. Okay, can can you say that one more time out loud? So people, when people are like, "What was Larry Sanders <laughs> doing?" I can't believe that he didn't want to play. But say that one more time. I, I produced on Party Next Door's uh, last album. That's man. That's awesome, man. Yeah, yeah, that, that's yeah. that's really cool. Yeah, congrats. Yeah, because yeah, Channing has no other skills, so this basketball <laughs> shit has to First really of all, work I'm out. A, uh, avid poet. <laughs> <laughs> didn't you know it? Yes, oh that's no, Loki, I'm that's really that. good at poetry. Uh, uh, well, recite something for us, Channing. You... Yeah. I actually, I got an A. <laughs> Do you write I got poems? an A. I got yeah, an A I was on Adderall. I was on Adderall. I was on Adderall. 
I low key, I wrote it and didn't put a name on. Like I put my name on it, but I said, "Don't tell people who it is." Like, oh, oh, oh you had you were the ghostwriter. Who <laughs> it? Yeah, it's definitely ghostwriting. Low key, people love that shit. Let me hear. Re- recite something for us, Shady. Uh, Rich <laughs> is a dick. <laughs> Rich is a dick. Oh, I thought you were gonna do it. Really? <laughs> no, I don't remember that. I was so. Can you? It's just kind of like him freestyling. Can you give us a little? Give us no. a little something, Channing. I'm a writer. I'm not in that zone. You, know you can't just demand that of me. It's gross. <laughs> like, <laughs> you're shaming my artistry. Larry. Artistry. Speaking artistry. Of art. artistry. <laughs> artistry. <laughs> so far from a word. <laughs> it's so far from a word. Holy oh, shit. Oh, man. Is judgment. A, judgment this, come from people, all angles don't here. Don't judge my artistry. <laughs> yeah. Listen. <laughs> You Thank know you what? for that. Thank cheeky. you for that. Please. Sounds like uh, rotisserie. Yeah, right. <laughs> yes, it does. Of course, it would sound like rotisserie. <laughs> I don't even want to talk to you, <laughs> Larry. This speaking of pants. art, I am not grouchy. Not anymore. Because uh, you got the black. Skin. Okay, just it, we're, um, gonna, we're gonna lose them. How many tattoos do you have? <laughs> Sixty-seven. Do you know? <laughs> I don't know. I stopped counting at like around forty, but that was like four years ago. Told you, sixty-seven. Yeah, I don't know. What is your favorite tattoo? Um, my favorite one, actually a poem, man, from Antoine Fisher. <laughs> I was gonna Sorry. say, did Channing, did Channing write it? Write it? <laughs> Channing wrote the poem. <laughs> it's one of his old, his old collection. But no, it's from Antoine Fisher, and um, it's called "Who Will Cry for the Little." Bottom, you seen Antoine Fisher? You heard that? I have not. Okay, it was Denzel Washington. He, he did a movie on it. Uh, he he did like a re uh, reenacting. A uh, yeah, but yeah, I think it was yeah, it was out before. Yeah, it's called um, it was um. I think it was just called his name, but yeah, it was uh. Recite the it poem. It was an orphan. People want to know the poem. Oh, would you like? Okay, who would cry for a little boy with no eyes who can see? Who would cry for a little boy who cries inside of me? So it was just the last four bars, but um. That's your favorite. It's my favorite poem. What is the point of the one by your left eye? So this uh, this is. What is it? Um, sacred geometry. Oh. So it's actually like we need to get you and Kyrie on this shit. Together. <laughs> no way, I tell you, <laughs> we would go down some fucking black holes that no one <laughs> could take, boy. Listen, yeah, my oh, eyeballs man. would pop out of my head like freaking Total Recall. Yeah, jeez. You know that Kyrie said wait, wait, on our keep... podcast that the Earth is flat. Oh yeah, yeah. That's that's. Do you believe in the See, Earth is this flat? Is, this is my take on that. Right? Here we go. This is my take on. Let's that. go. There we go. We're we're breaking believe, layers here. I believe that. Because a lot of what we've been told when we were children oh, sounds like has God. deemed to be false, right? A lot of what and we, we're kind of left now to kind of create our own, you know, truths. Mm-hmm. And it's just people are like enjoying the their options to, mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, to rebel. Yeah. So that they're, they're saying I can choose this side or, or not. But I think it's just a search for, for answers. It's just an overall. I think it just explains the ov- like where our society is. Yeah. You know the that fact people that people just don't believe what you guys being told. Remember the little kid that was running for president? His name was D's Nuts. Yes. yes. That that was a big example to me. <laughs> the fact that, like, where are we right now? Yeah, you right. know what I'm saying? Like, what's no, really and what's going even on crazier? Here? This guy named Donald Trump uh, ran for <laughs> right, president. And won, he won. Right. <laughs> what a crazy fucking world. Yeah. yeah. So like, I just think, guys, you know, I think he's doing a good job. I, hey, I am all about uh, uh, alt right and alt left. <laughs> I'm right in the middle. Just want to put it Control, there. Control, alt, delete. Control, <laughs> alt, delete. I'm kidding. You're not kidding. <laughs> at all. Okay, so Larry, but- you're all about the freedom of exercising your mind. Freedom isn't free. Yeah. Kind of what Kyrie believes. Yeah, I think that, you know, but I think that it's just people are, they're, they're just kind of upset, they're, you know, and they're rebelling because they drink milk. Like, come on, man. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> come on! Like we yeah. had to get older and be like, wait, wait, time out. What are we doing here? Like, yeah. we're drinking this milk that this cow produced. Like, do we want to look like a cow? <laughs> like, what's going? What's really going on here? Yeah. And do you drink milk? No, I don't. I drink like almond milk. Or My like, son says almond milk, and it just bothers me. It just actually, makes me want to punch him and make him tougher. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> you because, make him I, because, I, because I grew up on whole milk. Yes. I'm not talking about two percent. I'm talking about whole. Yeah. And I'd come in from you know Phoenix outside oh. plant. I'm grabbing the jug of, of whole milk, just thick and just just drinking this shit. And my son, he sits there. And he's like, he's like uh, water. I was like, oh, you want water? He's like, no, no, no. I'm my milk. 
almond milk. And I'm just sitting there like, oh, this dude's saying he wants fucking almond milk. Jeez. You know what I'm saying? It's like straight, it's straight well, out of Have you ever watched Blackish? You ever watched Blackish? It's straight out of that. It's well, straight out of that. I'm going to tell you this. And I'm sorry to burst your bubble. <laughs> milk is 90%. Blood and pus. I, I'm fine with that because this, honestly, I believe that the hormones and the, I wanna, the terrible I wanna, stuff I help us grow. This. Farmers no. of America, <laughs> <laughs> holla at your boy. I'm I want to know this. But I tell you that you give me that and some and some uh, uh, rice krispie treats. And so, <laughs> and so you give me that and some you give me that and a, and a nice bowl of cereal. A right. nice bowl of cereal. I I'm love crushing milk. it. As you should. You ship from a, the the podunk. Where the podunk. From? I think everything's good in, in, in um, moderation. Moderation, <laughs> except for milk. <laughs> except for milk. You know. Did you? I, did I have you a ever bad reaction it, to it too. Did you break any bones ever? No. Have you broken any bones? No. Thank you. That's not you what look you're supposed brittle. to say. I'm, I'm, he these, says you look these bones are tough. <laughs> <laughs> Tell him, man. Country <laughs> strong over there. Yeah. Uh, no. Oh well, that man. We definitely have to get you and Kyrie. Oh here yeah. Together. Now we definitely and, do. And that'll be that'll be a good funny one to talk about. Just kind of free mind and open thinking. Uh, do you have any? Are there? Are you a reader? Are there any books or anything yeah. that you want to recommend? Our to people? Um, audience loves book suggestions. Oh yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. There's one I read right now by. Um, I think his name's Edward Tolley. It's called The New Earth. Okay. Um, <laughs> Is it flat? <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's, 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 I'm doing an audio version right now. Okay. But, uh, oh. it's, a great, it's a great book. He's actually um, reading the book himself. Oh, that's awesome. He has like, this old British accent. It's like, <laughs> yeah, so it's it's so you're, listening, you're listening to someone read, his own, read his own book. Yeah. Yes. Oh. Yeah, it's Are good you? for car rides. Definitely oh, yeah. good for car rides. I think podcasts, i.e. road tripping podcasts, is better for car rides. Oh, yeah. But no, I'm kidding. I mean, you get moderation. Everything. <laughs> moderation. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, that's cool. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, man. That's awesome. Any other books um, that you've read in the past or movies or anything that you want to recommend? Okay. Yeah. Um, uh, good talk. Yeah. That one? Oh, I love that you one. You like that one? <laughs> yeah, that's Channing. That's Channing. I read that one in fifth grade. Yeah, that one hit Channing's grade. You have kiddos girl. too, right? Yeah, I boy do. and a girl. Boy and a girl. How old are they? Um, my boy is six. My girl is three. Oh, oh damn! Congratulations. Do you yeah. read you the the F word yeah. book? To them? Go to fuck to sleep. Oh, also, Laura Ooh. was hot about that. Why? I don't read them that book now. <laughs> I read them yourself. when they were babies. Right, and they don't know. Like they don't. You know, why is anyways. why was what, Lauren was mad? Joke? She was like, "No, there's a book called Go like, the Fuck to Sleep." Uh, right, it's hilarious. <laughs> yeah. Right, so and so she was like, "Channing, it sounds like you read our <laughs> six and four year old kids go to fuck to sleep every night." I was like, "No, it was a party gift," and I read it to him being funny. One time, <laughs> three, <laughs> it's like three nights a week, Lauren is not. I'm not even home every night. Right. That's all no, you have to no, say. No, 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 yeah, 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 she yeah, got yeah, a phone yeah. call from CPS, Child Protective <laughs> no, Services. Yeah. She like, uh, excuse me, man. We'd like to talk to you. Uh, yeah. she does. She listens to some of the podcasts, and then it just so happens to be that one. And then I got like the eyes. I was like, "Girl, what's uh, wrong with you?" Chang, do you listen to the podcast? Nope, I can't do it. It's like an artist. Oh, uh, jeez. Once you I hate paint her voice. No, once uh, I, I hate once I paint the picture. You love my voice. <laughs> you, you, love, you love it. No, I don't. Once I paint this picture, I let it go. Okay. Let it be free. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You, can't <laughs> you know what I'm oh, saying? Geez. All right, Larry. Anything else? No, Larry. You thank you for joining us, man. Okay, yeah, awesome. uh, I'm glad you're a part of it. I'm going to butcher this, though, before we um, close out. Rafa just said he would collect, uh, collect correct me. Uh, we enjoyed some wine tonight, not only by Delhi. Thank you, Delhi. The Camus. the Camus. Sorry about St. Mary. The Camus. Shout out. Channing, I love you. Your wine is really well. good. Hey, Road Trippin' fans, don't forget, we are working with the t-shirt company that you may have seen around, Amish. They're the ones that are responsible for LeBron's Ultimate Warrior shirt and many of the college designs you see on tees. As they pay homage to great moments in sports and inspiring stories, go check out their NBA GM tees at homage.com. You're sure to be inspired and we'll get a kick out of their special design of Richard and Channing. Get them while they're still in stock at homage.com.